Hey, what's up guys? This is Fuad. Today I'll show you how to make this super cool DIY glider made out of styrofoam that can land. Check this out. So I'll try to make a glider out of styrofoam that lands. So here I've got a thermocol sheet and I've marked a 55 centimeters by 8 centimeters rectangle. This will be my fuselage. So let me go ahead and cut this thing out. Now on this piece, I'll try to make a little plane design. You can make the design however you like, I just prefer it to have it this way. I came up with a shape that looks something like this. Now you want to take another piece, now you want to use your marker and trace it on it and then you're gonna have a thicker fuselage. Now I have my both pieces of the fuselage. Using my hot glue, I'm going to stick both of these together. Here you can see that the edges are not smooth, that's why I'm going to use this sandpaper to sand all the edges of the fuselage so that it looks much better. Here you can see that I'm done with the sanding, it looks really smooth, now the final outcome will be really nice. Now I'm going to start with the wings. So I've just measured the wing and you can see that the width of the wing is going to be 9 centimeters and um, these are actually two cutout portions. I'm going to join these two wings together like a V shape. Um, I'm thinking of doing that and the length of the whole wing is going to be 60 centimeters. So half of the wing is 30. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and cut out the wing. So here I have both the wings and you have to make sure that they're evenly measured and evenly cut out. Now I'm going to curve the end part of the wing just so that it looks a bit better. Now repeat this design for the other wing as well. Now I'm going to stand it in a way so that the wing edge is curving like this way. So just grab your sandpaper and make a curve out of it. So this is the curve I was talking about. Now it can cut the air better. You want to continue with this with the other wing so that both these wings have the same amount of curves. Now you want to grab one wing, so make a diagonal cut like this. Just a little bit. Now use your sandpaper to kind of smoothen the curve. So you want to have a little diagonal cut like that. Now you want to have the other wing 
And if you want to stick both of these together, you can see that it easily forms a V. So you want to make sure that the diagonal is not too steep because the V will get even steeper and you don't want that to happen. So now grab your glue gun and stick both the wings together. Now from the bottom, apply more glue so that both the wings are more secure with each other. Also from the top angle. Here I have the wing ready and the fuselage as well. Now I'm going to stick this wing on top of the fuselage. So you will need a lot of hot glue to stick this. Make sure that the curve is facing front and stick it really well in the middle of the fuselage. Here you can see that I've applied enough hot glue between the wing and the fuselage so that they stick well with each other. Here you can see I've made the tail and the Fin. I'm sorry I couldn't film this as I made it because um, I couldn't hit the record button and all this time when I was making I thought that it was recording. But just to briefly say um, it's actually 22 centimeters long and the width is 8 centimeters and this is just the fin which is around um, 8 centimeters as well and um, this part I didn't worry about I just made a little diagonal cut. So this is the whole plane model. Now for the landing gear, I'm going to use these wheels which was found in a local toy store. It's actually specially made for toy cars, but I just thought that I'll use this for my landing gear source. So I'm just going to open this pack. Just going to get two of the same colors and they're pretty light and I believe it's best for my model. Now what you want to do, you want to get a little piece of a barbecue stick. It's a pretty thick barbecue stick and it's 12 centimeter approximately. And you want to get another straw. Um, it was a straw which I cut out slightly smaller than the barbecue skewer. The idea is that we're going to stick the barbecue skewer to the wheel like this. So what you want to do, get your hot glue, use some glue inside the wheel. Now get your barbecue skewer and try to slot it through. And it's a pretty nice fitting, that's good for me. Now I want to, you want to get your straw through the barbecue skewer, like this. And from the other side, you want to do the same. So use some hot glue onto the wheel and stick the barbecue skewer through the wheel. I guess this straw is too small for it. I'm just going to cut a little bit more. Once again, use some hot glue and stick it inside the wheel like this. This is what you want for the front landing gear. So here I have the plane ready, also the landing gear. Now you have to make sure that the inside barbecue skewer is spinning freely so you can test it out on the ground because it has to have enough room inside the straw to spin freely. Now what you want to do, flip your model over, use some hot glue onto this part not really the tip of the plane and now stick the straw onto the plane so here you guys can see that I'm done with the back landing gear and I've done it the same way as how I did with the front one the only difference is that it's just a bit smaller so if I place my plane on the floor you can see that it's maintaining the equal balance on either side of the wing and if I push it forward it's going straight now I'm gonna put some weight on the front so I'm gonna use this coin I'm, I'm going to apply a little bit of glue and I'm going to stick it to the nose of the plane. I'm not going to apply too much glue because I may need to take it off. So here's the DIY plane, got some writing on it and also added a little sticker on the coin just because it was looking a bit bad. But I also believe I'll need to add one more coin to the other side of the nose to add some more additional weight. Because the wing at the front is too front, therefore the glider is getting a bit lift. But I'll show you a demonstration. 
as you can see that the plane got a lot of lift and we have to add some more weight to the nose. So again got one more coin to the other side and I'm also going to stick a little sticker on it just so that it looks a bit better having both sides the sticker. So this was a better attempt than the last time because the nose weight and the tail weight had equal balance. So the only problem was that it got a little bump on the floor as you can see. But yeah, we can put on more distance for this glider. Let's check it out once more. One big advantage with this model is that it has that foamy bit at the front, that's why if it hits somewhere really hard, it can really bounce back, so yeah. Well, I'm actually filming this at home, that's why I really don't have enough space to show you how far this cargo plane glider can actually go. But yeah, you can have a general idea on how it can land, it, it has a smooth landing, so that's what makes it a pretty good glider.